Hi, it's your accountant, Joyce St. Cyr, with Diverse Community Partners, BOI, Beneficial Ownership Information. So I sent out a couple of messages in regards to the filing deadline coming up, which is January 31st. And basically, so many people are asking the question of why. The government says it's really to ensure that illegal acts and so forth are not happening. But if you scroll down in the facts, which I'm going to put the link below for you, basically, we know that there are a lot of small business owners that register in the Secretary of State or apply for an EIN and never file taxes, never do any type of annual reporting and so forth. So this is another layer of security for the government to actually identify who are the owners and are they having some type of illegal activity. So they're really going to say the illegal act. But really, when you go and register and identify as the person responsible for this company, what do you think is going to happen next? They're going to see your taxes being paid. Do you have payroll? Are you making sales? If you're registered and you're not filing taxes, then why do you have a registered company? So when I ask individuals not to create multiple companies, as easy as it is to go to the Secretary of State and register a new business and easily to obtain an EIN, I realized that in due time, something was going to come up. And the BOI is just that. It's a way to control to see who's in charge of the business and their responsibility. Another factor, we have many clients that have multiple layer companies that they own. So a company owns a company, owns a company. So why would someone do this? For multiple reasons. But one thing we know, if there is anybody that is going to put up any litigation, you will have to go to the chain of following and suing each individual company in that layer. But the BOY is saying, who is the responsible party, the responsible individual or individuals that we need to be speaking to that is responsible for the reporting and the activity of this company. Now, the great thing about us is that all our clients are in great standings and they have in compliance because we have zero. We use HubDoc for our receipts. We have documentations. We do different things to ensure that we meet the regulatory requirement. So this is just another layer. Now, we have a lot of people that are soliciting offering to do the BOI. And if you want, you could have someone else do it. But it's really simple. I personally am going to be doing for myself and several people on January 30th, because we all know that I'm going out for a funeral. But I will be back in time. And even though I'm going out of town, I am going with my laptop. So if you have asked for us to sign up and do the BOI for them on their behalf, if you are interested for us to help you with the BOI filing, I'll send you the engagement letter, which is strongly re request, well recommended that we have an engagement letter that we understand what your obligation is and that we're going to be representing. So when you're registering with the government, you are saying you're the responsible party. Now, please don't let this deadline pass by. The penalty does it make sense to pay for it? And I believe that when they start putting things like this, similar to some changes to the tax reporting, they're going to start now inquiring and doing audits. Remember I told you, 2024 is the beginning entrance to a lot of audits. So if you happen not to be a DCP client, we encourage you to come and ask how we can support you to ensure that you're ready. Audit doesn't mean that you're doing something bad. It could, but not always. Remember, the IRS 50% are flags and the other 50% are random selections. So let's make sure that you're ready. So remember, do your BOI filing before January 31st. And if you need DCP to do the filing, you need to tell me ASAP. I need to put you on my calendar to ensure that it's done timely. Again, Thank you so much for allowing diverse community partners to serve you. And if you have any questions in regards to the BOY filing, send me a message. Thank you.